Ladies, sometimes unintentionally and very slowly, we actually give the devil a foothold in our marriages. And again, we don't do this on purpose. We don't even realize we're doing it. But let me show you how this develops. So your husband does something annoying or frustrating or disappointing. Yes, this happens in almost every marriage. And instead of dealing with that situation and calmly discussing it with our husbands and telling them you know, what the problem is and how we'd like this to be handled in the future or whatever, we stuff it, especially if you're a conflict avoider. I'm a recovering conflict avoider. I like to say recovering conflict avoider because I'm learning a better way to deal with my frustrations and annoyances. Instead of just stuffing it, which results in my heart becoming hard and crusted over toward my husband, you know, resentment just darkening my heart toward my husband, instead of allowing that to happen any longer, I'm learning to maybe take a little bit of a time out to gather my thoughts, asking the Holy Spirit for the right timing to discuss this with my husband, asking the Holy Spirit for the right words to say and bringing this up with my husband. But I've learned I have to address whatever is bothering me. I, I have to let him at least know that I'm frustrated or annoyed or disappointed because sometimes guys aren't mind readers and they don't even know why we're upset. So I need to find the right timing, the right words to actually discuss this with my husband and hopefully work all the way through the situation with him so he understands you know, my thoughts, my feelings, my opinions, uh, my, my desires on that matter, right? Because if you don't, ladies, what I've learned is that you are giving the devil a foothold. Ephesians 4 in the Bible discusses this so plainly. It says, in your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry and do not give the devil a foothold. See? The linkage is very clear there, right? I mean, you get angry, you don't discuss it, you don't deal with it, and you give the devil a foothold. Don't fall into that trap, ladies. You might need to take a little bit of a time out. Maybe you do need to wait 24 hours, but you need to make a plan with the Lord to discuss these issues with your husband and work all the way through that issue so that your heart doesn't become cold toward your husband and so you don't give the devil a foothold in your marriage.